Ninja, yes. What's up guys, welcome back to the vlog. Today is a special day because we are gonna be picking up a new car. This one's semi-necessary, kinda. <laughs> You'll see when we get there. But first, it's training day. All right, go on. Come here. I actually taught this guy some moves. Come here, homie. Jump, jump. Oh, what the heck? Okay, jump. Okay, good boy. Higher. Jump. Good. <laughs> nice. All right, go on, jump. Go on, jump. Good boy. One more. Yeah. Aswati, salute. No, you're going too fast. All right, go on. Lay down. Roll over. Good boy. Good boy. Came out. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right, yeah. Check this one. Go on. Turn off light, please. Light. Light. Right here. Good boy. Oh no. <laughs> Close enough. <laughs> Are you hungry? Woo! He's growing too fast. Honestly, I think this might be the maximum size he'll grow, which is perfect. Actually, it's not too big. Not too small. Just the size of Dragon Ball. Go on, child, fatty boy. Boop, 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 da, doot, doot. Oh, this one. Did. Nice. That's definitely it. <laughs> the silver one. Perfect. All right. Here we have it. Another Toyota Celica. Except this one started up no problem. And the only difference is this is a legitimate GTS. So six speed transmission and two ZZ engine. Um, borrowing our friend's shovel. We'll try to get rid of this snow and then we'll bring it back to the new shop. This is the only thing. <laughs> oh. Actually, that's not even that bad. I, I thought this was part of that dent, but that's the body style. Yeah. Actually, the TRD spoiler I had and the front bonnet spoiler are actually the same color, so it would have looked nicer on this car. But the idea is to just transfer the transmission and the engine into the GT model. Uh, different this one, like, I changed the caliper on it. Right. I changed this. So right now, like, I didn't bleed the brake too much, so okay. just be a little careful. Yeah, I was all on like I was doing it here. Yeah. Yeah, you need a second person to bleed that brake a bit. <laughs> exactly, right? Okay. So just be a little careful, because that's a brand new caliper. And then, um, yeah, for the other parts... Uh... Yeah, just let me know by Saturday or Sunday. Sure. I will pull the tires out, like I'll give you a matching set for this. Okay. Cool, man. And then, like, you know, we can work out on, like, just give me a hundred bucks or something for that full intake. Oh, that's, that sounds good. Yeah, Perfect. That will probably add an extra five horsepower or so. <laughs> Um, I think we should be okay uh, here, um, yeah, it's good, but, yeah. but it's a little hump, so. All right, thank you, man. Go promote. Guys, we got a new car. <laughs> what the heck? That was the smoothest transaction, Masood. Shout outs. Oh, we're good, we're good. So why did I buy another Celica when we already have one? First off, the 2ZZ engine that we bought uh, a couple months ago uh, that we tried to install in the GT was not the best. So for the past couple months, I've just been keeping an eye out on uh, 2ZZs or GTSs that uh, appear on the marketplace. And luckily I found this one. And if you guys are wondering how much we bought this for, I'll let you know when we get to the garage. Believe it or not, the 2ZZ engine is actually the same engine they use for the Lotus Elise, the Exiges, and the Exige S. This roughly makes around 180 wheel horsepower. The guy who sold it to us just told me that he's pushed it to 230 on stock internals. So, this is a pretty peppy car. <sighs> My bad, <laughs> wrong turn. I'm terrible with directions. It's because I wasn't the one driving here. That's why I forgot <laughs> which turn it was. And also, you notice, I'm wearing my glasses now. Okay, okay. I was gonna say, but there's cops right there. <laughs> 
What? What? It's pretty quick. Not bad. It's peppy. <laughs> Yo, I was gonna say, man, we should try it. Also, that's how I destroyed the old one. So, oh, I just oh, pushed it. Yeah. I gotta be careful. <laughs> okay. Christ is averted. Larry, thanks for helping me run that errand. <laughs> oh, hey. Guys, what have we done? <laughs> Actually, no, this, again, like I said in the beginning of this video, this was necessary. I just want the other Celica to be up and running. This is gonna be the donor vehicle. Anything for a thumbnail. <laughs> All right, thanks, Larry. I'm probably gonna look this over or maybe just bring it straight to eight, but I'm gonna milk it right now. Because, uh, a new car! <laughs> what the hell, dude? A chunk of this part is missing, but that's okay. Trunk's clean. Take a look inside. So, other than the rear view missing and probably needs a windshield replacement. It's really clean in the interior. Like the guy who sold it to me took really good care of maintaining this car and it started up no problem. Hold on, hold on. Yo, Juan. How's it going, man? Oh, pretty good, how are you? Dude, I uh, ended up picking up the GTS, so I finally have the loaner car. No, 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 the thing is, I, I think it's like you, you got it because like you wouldn't lower the price because we were lower, low boarding Right, yeah. He just wanted to get rid of it. Okay, I didn't know I was competing with you guys, but thank you. <laughs> hey, no worries, man. Thank you so much. Okay, I'll see you in a bit, hon. All right, let's bring the GTS to Ape Auto. What is that? Whoa, cool! Damn, this is my first time seeing this limited edition XB. It's the truck version. That is so sick. We gotta check this out. Yeah, it's reveal. What do you mean reveal? Oh, sh I forgot. New car. Dude, I'm impressed with this. So this is the Open Deck XB. As a matter of fact, correct me if I'm wrong, I don't even think this was released in North America at all. They all come right-hand drive. Dude, I feel like this was just recently imported because it still has all of the papers. But yeah, wow. Toaster gang. Alright, let's get this puppy in. Reveal, reveal! Congrating my money again. What do you mean? I just got him a sponsorship. Oh, why are you so ungrateful, Chris? Huh? Huh? <laughs> taking my money again. Those are Trey's wheels, what are you doing? Huh? No, no, yeah. Let's give you guys a small rundown of the new GTS Celica we just got our hands on. Mm. Boom, we got the GT and then this is the new GTS. Well, new to me. <laughs> is this another Supra exhaust? What the hell? I was like, this is the exact same exhaust. Looks like someone else got a new exhaust. Exactly, just like you. So if you guys don't know, compared to the GT, this is a six speed manual. Um, and it has 250 clicks. <laughs> At least the engine's working. Fong just gave me a suggestion. Should we? It'll fit in a Celica. <laughs> I'll make it fit. <laughs> but think about your fuel economy. Whatever you want, I'll make it fit. It may not look pretty, but it'll fit. <laughs> <laughs> I won't see this anywhere else, but you see how that big rail? I'm 5'10", I'm not that tall, but I had a hell of a time trying to get in and out of this thing, and the power seat doesn't well, that's work. That's like the Lotus, man, but I didn't know the Corvettes were like that either. Yeah. Man, it's so basic inside. Brings you back to the 80s movies? Yeah, or Vice City, man. Vice GTA. City, right? Totally. Hell yeah. We'll open the hood up for you guys. 
when they get started on transferring all of the parts. And I'll just basically use that day to look over the shoulders and gain as much experience as I can when it comes to engine swapping. Um, it's just for the past few weeks, I've been busy catching up on my art. So I'm kind of just leaving this hard mechanic stuff to the professionals, the people who know what they're actually doing. But I would love to learn, and I know Michael's actually pretty well versed in this kind of engine, so um, we can learn a lot here at Ape. So upon closer inspection, the GT that we bought a few months back during winter, well technically it's actually still winter, is actually cleaner, or it has a cleaner body than the GTS. The body of this guy is pretty roughed up, a few dents all over, um, and also I recognize that the interior of the GTS is actually all leather. We may end up transferring the seats from the GTS into this one. Other than that, everything else in the interior of the GT is pretty much the same as the GTS. Also this is one of the pieces that are probably really hard to find too. <laughs> I had no idea this even existed, or if it's even available for any other car other than the Celica. Dude, I'm not joking, look at this. Yeah. It's a li little tight, dude. <laughs> well, all you do is you a cool hat and you look so cool in there. <laughs> we got some stickers made, so might as well just grab them. Oh, sweet, dude. So that's the wrong size. Oh, one. nice. So oh, it. oh, yeah. <gasps> These are the new ones. I haven't seen these yet. Nice, man. Yo, those turned out. Thanks, Han. Yeah, no problem, man. Sick. I actually love seeing this thing. It's so cool. Having all of these different kinds of cars around is just pure inspiration. For now, we're just gonna leave the Celica here and wait for an update from Fong and Han. We'll just continue the rest of our work out. This now makes our eighth Toyota, I believe. Yeah, but now that we have the donor car, we can get started on the dismemberment of this GTS in the next few days here, so stay tuned. I'm just gonna end this video, guys. So as usual, if you wanna get updated on when new videos come out on this channel, feel free to subscribe. And then if you guys wanna help me out with the algorithm, cause I don't really understand. There's so many factors for your video to end up on someone's recommended. Um, but I think likes really help out someone's video. So if you guys can drop a like, I'd appreciate that a lot. Leave some good vibes in the comments. We'll catch you guys on the next vlog. Peace. All right, let's see what we got here.